everyone so here this is a palalto firewall in our previous batch we done the what we can say user id and we integrated the palalto firewall with the active directory so now i need to remove the configuration because for other batch we will do again from the scratch so now i am deleting the configuration so what i thought let's make the video while deleting so at least some guys maybe they will have the idea by watching this one how to access the firewall how to delete and if you want to remove any configuration in the firewall how we can remove like in the cisco router you will write no in the front of that one so here how we can delete the configuration we are using the gui graphical user interface so this is simple only not that much stuff because many guys are requesting to make the video for the basic basic stuff so anyhow now i am doing this basic stuff so let me make the video so maybe this will help to someone okay so what we will do here this is a palalto firewall when you put the login detail this is a cli of the palalto firewall this one okay and here is the pa firewall so when i log in here by default the username and password both are admin when you log in first time they will ask you to change the password because this one version 10 and 11 they are asking you to change the password so we need to change the password immediately so i change the password now i set some other password after that i done the lab now i need to check the ip address i need to check this firewall if i want to access how i can access means i need to check here i will write show interface management and press enter you will get here the ip management ip so whatever management ip you are getting you need to type that ip in the browser so you can access the palalto firewall okay this is a simple way so if you see you have the ip 192.168.45.132 so here i will write 45.132 so this is the ip i have so this way when you put the ip you will get the user prompt you need to log in whatever the username you have i am i am using the admin and whatever the password you set you need to type that password so you are able to go inside the palalto firewall it will load and it will take some time after that you can go here and then you can do the configuration so here i am inside the firewall if you want to see the log click the logs and you can click this traffic so you will see the traffic logs whatever we have here like if you see <coughs> these are the user on this date recently when we finished this batch that time we have the logs here we have the different department users is accessing some services like you already know that Palalto firewall is having the user ID and also you can say app ID and contain ID. This next generation firewall is having this three feature. So in the Palalto firewall also we have this three feature. <coughs> so in this log you can see we have the user name IT1 I give the user name so you, you are getting the log. This user with this IP is going for going to internet whatever sites he is accessing you will get the detail here like google youtube and whatever he is accessing and thread here this is also log here like if, if any attacker is trying to do the attack udp tcp attack that logs is here if you want to look more logs you can go here and check more logs also whatever logs you have you can see here like here you can see different types of logs we have here url filtering is also having the logs like whatever websites our user is trying to access it will block and data filtering also we have so these are the logs anyhow now i need to delete some uh, what we can say configuration so first let me go to the network click network you can see here you have zone here so I have inside zone here I enable this one so we can keep this for other project also no problem this one or if you want to remove you can remove also let me remove just click here remove and uncheck this this is the basic thing I will keep later we will do the other thing so just I remove here the 
what I remove let me show you the user identification I enable when I do the lab user lab I remove that one and click OK and after that what you need to remove you need to remove the service road if you see here go to the service uh, go to the device and service route configuration here I change the service route because my uh, active directory and DNS server are here so I change this one if our active directory or DNS server is in the management side or in the DMZ side you need to select this that interface now they are inside our LAN zone and this is the interface Ethernet 1 by 2 so I selected so if you want to remove this and set up the normal one default one you can use the default one also default one is nothing but management interface management interface means MGMT this one but our active directory we deploy here to this LAN interface so I keep uh, that uh, what we can say LDAP in that interface so we can keep this this is not big deal after that we have the LDAP configuration you can go there in the device if you see left hand side you have here this one this is a profile we created if you open here I added the detail here I can remove this detail from here and this one I can delete the profile just click here and delete here so this profile will be deleted and when I am deleting this one they are giving the error like I cannot delete this because this profile is using somewhere so first I need to delete from there then I can delete here so I need to check where I need to delete if you see group mapping group managing here we are calling that profile so first I need to go there and delete that one okay so if I want to delete there where it is available means here here if you see where it is available here you have the device you need to click <coughs> user identification in that one you can see group mapping group mapping setting and this one is that one I can delete this or I can yeah let me delete this here so it is deleted now after that we can go there and we can delete that LDAP configuration go here and select this delete this okay now I can delete this so this two profile I deleted after that what else I need to delete we can uh, go to the group group mapping I deleted everything so no need to worry for the group mapping and then we can see local here if you see we have the local user, user identification in that one we map in the user mapping here so this one I can delete I can select here delete this ok I deleted this one also and here we can go here if you see this one I add so I can remove here now I don't have anything so I will remove this all detail I remove everything I click ok or let me remove I put something here remove ok so this one also I deleted everything here after that what I can do I deleted here the user active directory also and uh, that's all this is the setting then you can click commit and also if you want to check in the policy which is going from inside to outside I selected here domain so I can delete this this I selected so source uh, user so whatever the user is present in our domain they can access this so I will delete here I can say anyone I click ok after that I need to click commit so when I click commit it will save the configuration ok so what I done I reset the configuration the user id lab configuration I remove but basic configuration is present here like as an IP address is present you have the default root and all other stuff is present here ok so Palalto firewall uh, we are going to start maybe after one month so if you are interested you can message and we will see we will have one batch after two months and one to one we will have one batch so depend which one you are available you can join that one ok you can message us our team will give you detail but it will take time immediately we will not start I am also full of other stuff so I will start after one month and after two months two batches will be start okay 
so this one i done now i save the configuration so we can close you can just if you want to close you can go and click here and you can stop the firewall that's all